All right. This question can be a couple different shapes. All right. Here we have what? An ellipse. Why is it an ellipse? If the 4 is gone, it would be a circle, right? Because it's positive x squared and positive y squared, and the coefficients are the same. In this case, 1. If I make these values not equal to each other, while x squared and y squared are both positive, then it becomes an ellipse, elongated in one of the two directions. So, our next goal is to rearrange it. I'm going to go ahead and put the 4x squared with the 8x leave a little space, get a little y squared, minus 10y equals negative 13. At this point, I'm going to pull out 4 from this. 2x left only. All right, take this number, divide by 2, that's 1, then square it, so I add 1. But I didn't really add 1, I really added 4 times the 1, so plus 4. Now, Take the negative 10, divide by 2, negative 5, squared is 25. All right. Now, what we have here is 4 quantity x plus 1 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 16. Recall, for an ellipse, we want to set it equal to 1. All right. x plus 1 squared over 4 plus y minus 5 squared over 16 equals 1. This equals b squared. This equals a squared. The center is negative 1, comma 5. So, when our center is negative 1, comma 5, all of our answer choices, though, have a center of negative 1, comma 5. The next thing is the a value and the b value. Well, A and B are overrated because it can change in terms of radius in the x direction and radius in the y direction based on which one's bigger. What I want you to see, though, is it's a bigger A value for the y, so up and down. So that can't be the right answer. It can't be this. It's either going to be like this or like this. Well, the center was at negative 1 and up 5. That means if I moved over 2 units, because B would equal 2, so I move over 2 and back 2, this looks right. It's going to take me out to 1. Over here, this one was at negative 1, and it only moved over one unit. I can't have a 1 there, because I want b to equal 2. So because it crosses through, I know that that's correct. Answer is A. Go ahead now and find the asymptote question.